It is an unexpected find, one of the busiest television and film production facilities in the country, built on 26 acres in an office park in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Nearly 300 people pump out more than 400 hours of original programming yearly, distributed over 30 domestic networks and in 200 plus countries. You have to harken back to the old days of the Hollywood studio system uh, to find anything that's analogous to what NFL Films is today. And what NFL Films is today is a fiscal and creative engine driving the popularity of the multi-billion dollar world of professional football. Operating out of a month-old, $45 million, 200,000 square foot complex, 15 minutes outside Philadelphia that would have made Cecil B. DeMille proud, NFL Films is the face, voice, and emotional core of the league. We never had a business philosophy. We've never had a focus group or a demographic study. I mean, we've never had anything like that. It, well, I always felt it was that founded by the now retired Ed Sable and his son Steve in 1962. My dad wanted to uh, show football the way Hollywood portrayed fiction, and that is with a dramatic flair. I wanted to show the game the way I had experienced it as a player, and that is with the, the veins sticking out, and the snot spraying, and the muscles bulging. NFL Films has had its muscles bulging as part of the league since 1965. That's when it was bought. A hundred million feet of football action later, it is a television juggernaut unrivaled in sports or nearly any kind of television. Got to go! Pop around, here we go! We have primary targets, which of course is male, 18 to 34. That's our core audience. Um, we also are very uh, interested in growing our Hispanic fan base and our teen demographic because that's the future of the NFL. Right there, well done. Almost all of the football imagery that you see on television in this country and around the world comes from the vaults of NFL film. We have kickoff time period. There's Thanksgiving, there's playoffs, there's Super Bowl, Pro Bowl, draft, and then we look at the preseason and training camp. Hey, let's go! Owned by the league but operating independently, NFL Films has now broadened its scope to include some 3,000 pieces of non-sports production, from television commercials for the likes of Harley-Davidson, Subaru, and General Mills, now every fruit roll -up. to hour-long programs for A&E, the Lifetime Network, and long-form music videos for Sony Epic. But it is never far from its football roots. The NFL is one of the most successful sports businesses in the world. If you ever doubt that, just look at the film. I can never understand a word you're saying. <laughs>